You can download a copy of your Google Drive on your computer so you can easily access all the files and folders. You can edit, delete, or move a file on the cloud, and the same change happens on your computer and vice versa. To get a download version of G Drive, either search for it on Google or go to google.com slash drive slash download. Another way to get the G Drive for desktop is log into your Google Drive account online and click on the gear icon next to your avatar. Then select Get Drive for Desktop. Either way, you get to the same place. Now click the blue Download Drive for Desktop button. Save the Google Drive.dmg file in your downloads or in another folder. The .dmg file is a copy of a virtual disk. Then double click on it and then double click on the Google Drive.package to start the installation process. The .package file is like a zip file containing the application files. I know, a lot of steps. Now you will go through the installer where you will find out the size of space needed for the installation. Once you install the G Drive for desktop, you can go to Applications on Mac or Windows File Explorer on PC to locate it. Once you find it, guess what? Double click on the Google Drive that application, which contains a bundle of files for G Drive. Now a sign in with browser option appears asking you which account you want to link to the G Drive on desktop. I will select my testing account and sign in. Once you install the G Drive application, you can go back where you saved the .dmg file and move it to trash. You no longer need it. You will also have a disk image on your desktop that you have to right click on and eject to clean up and remove all the installation files so they're not taking space on your computer. Now locate your G Drive on your computer. You can search for it or shortly I will show you how to locate it quickly. You can see all the files and folders that I have on my G Drive in the cloud and are now also available on my desktop computer. All the folders are here as well as all the files. Now anything that I do to my files on my desktop will be replicated and synced with the G Drive online. Let's test it out. I will go to my financial folder on my desktop and move one of the files out of that folder. I can go to my G Drive in the cloud, refresh the page, and see that the file was also moved. Similarly, when I move my travel folder to the Google Sheets templates in the G Drive online, I can see that it was also moved on my G Drive on my computer, which is perfect. That's what I wanted. To control the settings as well as connection to your Google Drive account, go to the icon at the top of your screen. It is like a black and white version of the Google Drive logo. Once you click on it, you will see which Google account is connected to your G Drive on your desktop. Under Activity, you have a list of recent changes on your drive. Click the gear icon in the upper right corner and select Preferences. Then under Google Drive, you have two ways to sync your files. You can either stream or mirror your files. Streaming uses less hard drive space as your files are stored only in the cloud unless you make them available offline. The mirror option is better if you expect to be offline a lot and want access to all your files on your computer. Read about the pros and cons of each on the G Drive documentation. Here you can also find the location for all your G Drive files and folders by clicking the Open in Finder option on Mac and similar option on PC. If I click on the gear option again, I can disconnect my Google account here, which is something you will have to do if you ever want to remove the G Drive for desktop. You can also scroll through other preferences here. Click done to close the window. Now you have the G Drive installed on your computer. Thanks so much for watching.